thought I was two skeleton archers, so this is actually better than I thought it was going to be. They destroying my items? No, good. I didn't think it re-offered things to Tonic, so I don't know that I can get a beauty. You mean if I had gotten luckier on the, the, the ways it applied? Certainly, certainly. A little bit of regen right now is still kind of nice. I think it's better in vampirism, but worse than evasion. I'm so, I, I don't like vampirism, man. It just doesn't seem to do anything. All right, okay, I'm not taking those. More worms. Dude, I'm on the fucking worm train now. These things are amazing. Okay. Thickets. We're gonna make this into a hostile book, which is gonna be a little painful. Your opinion without attack speed, vampirism is bad. The problem is we're running an attack speed build with forests and it's still bad. So I'm, I haven't found the condition yet where we're running plus, plus absolute damage and percentage attack speed and vampirism still isn't carrying us for shit. So I don't know what the hell we're gonna do about vampirism. This doesn't seem good. Tickets in here. Okay. Raw damage. I mean, I wish you would listen, right? Like this gives raw damage. That's what burn forest does. And then regular thickets give percent attack speed. We have both raw damage and attack speed, and it's still not playing well with vampirism. So, I, I don't know, chat. We, must, we need something else, clearly, because it's not working with those. So we're gonna discard three here, and then the book. Ah, dude, we have to use Oblivion. So I actually would like to spawn another camp so I can get rid of it. Perfect. All right. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I need shit tons of camp items to make it work. Cause it doesn't seem to work on anything I'm trying to do here. Happy to have spiders popping out here. Okay. Another bookery is excellent. Question is where? It seems like a decent bookery. Maybe not gonna remember because it's so cluttered over there. Another runes, also really nice. I'm gonna play out more of these. I think I have to get huge, right? That's the point. And where does the bookery go? In here. It's two there, it's not bad. Okay. All right, triggered aggressive book guy. cocoon where here we're gonna discard six to this first three is fine I'm not sure about the second three yet
That's some forest, I guess. I don't really wish to discard thickets, but I guess I'm going to discard one either way. Oh, I guess if I draw something here, I don't have to. There's cemetery. Okay to discard that. Yeah, we're okay to discard that. Okay. More spiders somewhere. So we're out of spawns for the stuff we care about. So we're just working with spider spawns now. It's okay. Do I want more spawns at all? I love the card draw off spiders. They don't seem to be super hard scaling. I do need some attack speed. Like, I'm not playing these, but I ought to be playing them. Certainly short on card draw still, especially around this area. I can't play them here, though, the way those spawn. Maybe play one last one of these. And then what about thickets? Do I start? I don't have another removal card, so I could generate one of those really annoying guys. Pretty close to it. Where would I play them? Does it matter? It matters a little. Barely. So we're going to put another one of those lightning things there, so these two columns are gone. So like here is fine, I guess. We all done with cemeteries? I think we are. Definitely need more blood groves, so that's nice. Kinda wish I could play more runes, but I have this stupid thing over here. Feels bad. Happy to discard all three of these. Retaliation's coming from the hat. Alright, village cemetery chrono crystals. Chrono crystal is good. Want them in here. It's also where I wanted the blood grove. Is there another spot I can put a blood grove that's gonna matter? No, it's right there. Chrono crystal on the outside, it's okay. Don't like increasing the spawns of the empty tiles is all. The village right there, it's gonna create a spawn. Don't have any way to remove it right now. Two things we need to remove, we're not gonna keep up with that. Don't want to discard the village though, particularly. I think that's coming up in a moment. Should look at the hats. Current hat is 5% vampirism, some regen. It's better than that. Probably worse than that though. Okay. How's our ring? Vampirism, no evasion, regen. Yeah. All right, second boss is attack speed. Probably. Need to village that, unfortunately. 
Okay. Alright, what do we come up with? Shield with quite a lot of regen and quite a lot of extra stats on it. Evasion attack speed shield. Take this one. Weapon at 7. Magic damage on top of that makes it pretty big. We have magic damage 9 on the other one too though. 20 to 30, so it does less damage. It's worse. Okay. Actually not a bad spot for this, this vampire um, thing to spawn. I do need to upgrade my chest plate soon. All right, strong aftertaste for potion usage. That's probably actually gonna be okay. I don't really want card sharp. I mean, maybe I want card sharp. I think I'm taking strong aftertaste. That's better than what we're running, probably. Possibly. Hypothetically. Yeah. Pay me worms. Pay me the sweet, sweet worm payment. The worm tax. Let's go. Good work, worms. Alright. Magic damage. Regen per second. 22. 9 is 24 to 33. 32. It's really, really close, actually. Probably a slight upgrade. I don't think counter is an upgrade though. Here's to all, what's the hat? Regen, counter, magic damage. Negative, okay. Meadows out? I really don't. Do I need to play them though? Because of scaling? We might. Pay me worms. Retail vampirism. Boy. So all my lifesteal stats are low. I wonder if that matters. Dude, the book, I forgot about the fucking book, all right. now too and a bandit camp we're definitely getting overrun with the spawns created by playing every forest and the villages so i tried to remove village earlier was because it's definitely going to shit up our deck question is how badly does it shit up our deck i mean i could just leave these tiles empty they wouldn't have villages blocking them but i wouldn't be removing bandit camps Meter, yep, thanks. I kind of want it this round, right? We gotta we presumably have to kill him as the loops don't get so insane. Although, maybe we're not strong enough. I don't know. Is this guy poisoning me right now? Don't do that. I think he'll listen. I assume he will. Okay.
little worried about the old HP right now. I don't think we're gonna go up on the spiders. I don't think this build is gonna work. Spiders are poisoning me now, huh? Just tell me how much they do, I wonder. Need more speed. I don't think we need more speed. We need more sustain, but I don't know how to build sustain on the warrior because it's not vampirism and it isn't regen per second. So that seems to limit limit what we can do. the suppression again? You know, our single target damage is through the roof, right? Don't have any item changes to make here. I think we're gonna be forced to retreat here, right? Because we're definitely gonna die. I'm kind of shocked at how little impact. Isn't this the card you guys are always talking about? Um, kind of fucking shocked at how uh, little 19 magic damage is helping us. I mean, that's 50% of our damage coming from that, basically. Or near bouts. Do we have the shielding thing or no? We do have the shielding thing. We're at 200 health out of 600 with zero potions, the shielding thing. We're not super over leveled relative to this. I mean, this feels like a loss. I suppose it's possible that it's not. It's going to just destroy us. Could. I don't really want to though. Impossible to win. Do I buy it? Kinda. Two thirty six Evasion's 5%, that's not going to keep us alive. Vampirism's 5%, that's not going to keep us alive. Regen per second's at 7, but I think the fight's going to be too quick. I don't remember how much damage he does. I, I, I don't want to get stronger from a meta perspective though, chat, so I'm going to do it, even if we're going to go straight into the loss, because I want to see if the build can be tweaked to make this better. So we're going to try, but I think it's probably just straight up get fucked. I mean, vampirism is not good here, right? Since you only you can only drain the amount of HP they have. No, not even remotely close. No. Counter nine. I have never tried max counter. I've always heard it's really bad. All right, I need two seconds, chat. Back in a second. We'll go from there.
All right, we're back. So, expedition-wise, can we tweak this build at all? So, I don't need village. It's a scam. I kind of don't want Blood Grove either. I'm kind of medium on this right now. Helps versus the boss, helps versus the guys. Maybe it's good enough. Kind of want Road Lantern. <sighs> kind of down on Chrono Crystals. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're fine, maybe they're not. It's gonna drop cemetery. Chat, what's the interact? Oh, wheatfield's gonna be the place next to villages. Doesn't matter. Outpost to help with the boss. I don't really know how this card works. So, all right, chat. Let's say I play. I assume I place this on either side of my um, my campfire. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's worth trying. I don't know. It doesn't seem super strong, but maybe. We don't want to add dead cards to our deck as all, right? We're already adding a lot of those. Like Chrono Crystalling Ruins seemed like a really good way to accelerate. Cemetery was okay, but not particularly exciting. We could drop Spider Cocoon entirely and try it with Groves. But those fucking bleeds were nasty, man. Did you just tell me that vampirism could be useful because of the warrior talent? Okay. All right. So we definitely don't want villages because we need to concentrate on oblivion uh, forest spawns essentially and bookeries we don't want to overtax our bookeries either three three is way too many two is maybe too many on the bookeries i gotta think about that i think we over spam spiders because the spiders get nastier but i don't know what to do about that necessarily i don't need treasury were the levels chap Chat, were the uh, levels of the worm items the same as the levels of cemetery items? And the other thing I could be running if I'm not running... Uh... Yeah, can you tell me the difference between ce uh, cemetery items, uh, battlefield items, and rune items, if they're all roughly the same level? Vampire loot is... A solid medium. Is the farm building worth getting? I don't know what it does. Warrior wants long drawn out fights, so battlefield with blood clots seems good. But you don't understand how this deck works before you recommend that, right? The way this deck is working is we generate high-level items off of runes, and sometimes cemeteries. Both of which these both of these tiles can spawn ranged damage dealers, right? The problem with battlefield is it puts the chest in any tile, so it can put that chest in the tile between your two things, which means you're fighting fucking mimics with four worms shooting you, which is not ideal. And also the other problem is. Battlefields and um, blood groves don't interact. If you have them both in an area, they don't both work. So we're currently running blood grove instead of battlefield. Okay, so skeleton and worm are the equivalent to tonic. Okay, so we probably just want to run this again. Worms own skeletons because worms spawn faster. Don't they spawn slower? Oh, it's every two days. Prime Matter in Act 4 kills you instantly on a 6th attack. That's funny. Again, the biggest fucking problem with this character is I don't know how to get him to sustain. He just doesn't sustain. The only strategy that seems to work for this thing in clearing bosses is evasion stacking. 
but we have to sustain off of the, the trash mobs. Could try outpost. Are we dropping spiders? You have multiple sources of sustain. Oh, well that's okay, then I have multiple sources. It doesn't matter how effective they are, as long as I have more than one, right? If you try and focusing on regen, yes. Chat, okay, imagine that I had half of a brain. Doesn't even have to be a full brain. At the moment, there's literally two sources of regen, right? Well, four maybe. You get meadows, which don't do shit. You have uh, villages, which don't do shit. You have vampirism, which doesn't do anything on the warrior as far as we can tell. And you have uh, your, um, what's the other one? Regen per second. Regen per second falls off super hard and is bad versus bosses. Vampirism is just bad in general, it seems like. Meadows do shit with Kronos? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just a matter of stacking all these multiple sources of sustain and hoping it's enough. It just doesn't seem to be. Especially when we're trying to decide, you know, we have some decisions to make on item quality. You know, how highly do we value each set of stats? Are we just trying the most generic, like, run-of-mill, like, a little bit of each? The moment it just feels like evasion is the king for all of them. Vampirism plus attack speed is overpowered. Are you going to then suggest adding uh, direct damage as well? Almost like a forest plus a uh, storm temple build you're suggesting? So, like, attack speed and plus damage with vampirism? Do you know the thing we've been trying for the last four hours? Life steal and armor works. Oh, okay. Let's stack all the stats. All right. So chat doesn't fucking know, clearly. That's fine. I just need to stop engaging with that. That's fine. I don't know, chat. Okay. All right. Try less fights per loop. Yeah, that's maybe possible. I think we are overdoing it with spiders for sure. Now I'm not gonna stop playing spiders right now, but where do we want them? I want as many spiders as possible. Okay. See, two spider draws right at the bat are super good. Okay. Thank you, the Italian guy, for the resub. Quitters never win. Alright, so we're building thing next to it. Tower, tower. Do the adjacencies from this watchtower include diagonals chat or no? Probably not. Nothing else in the game seems to. No. So we need skeletons here. Skeletons are better when they're not the first unit. All right, I'll run skeleton there. My tolerance for backspeeding is high. I think you're being sarcastic and you're trying to act like my tolerance for backspeeding is low. But it's just the, the amount of backseating this game is generating is insane. Alright, we want that one, that one here. Forests and meadows right now. All right, I think it would be great. We're looking for there. Okay, we'll drop arsenal after we loop through, I think. I've not unlocked rivers. I'm trying to do this without much more meta progression. Just want to see what the stronger builds are for this without meta progression. Because if you just, if you just iterate it enough and you get perpetual stacking bonuses, sure. You'll get strong enough to do it eventually, but it doesn't mean you're using a strategy that works, right? 
I don't, I'm trying not to brute force it at the moment. Like that, anyways. Oh. Are you a dolphin viewer? I sometimes I sometimes get amused at dolphin just like banning like half his fucking chat for not shutting up. It is kind of amusing to watch. I try not to do that. Alright, vampirism is a nice one for us. Could use some life regen. 9% is not great, but it's okay. I want worms. So we're looking to drop... I guess it has to be here. Okay. Can't meadow it though. It's kind of annoying. Alright, arsenal win. George is super strict about backseating too? I don't know. I haven't watched George's stream in a little while. Neither of those spawn feels bad. Go. Okay. What the fuck is meta progression? Well, in this game, you have a, a zone that's not just the tactical layer. You have a strategic layer in which you add items and buildings that make you stronger. That's called meta progression. Okay. Good. Good on them. All right, what from here? We need to start with forests. And we need some more thickets too. Okay. Do I need meadows out? I don't think so. I need to draw some cards that don't suck right now, so game, now's your chance. It's a good one. I wonder if there's something to be farmed out of these spiders. I feel like I want the thicket down, I'm a little worried about playing it right now. I need to draw bookeries so we can actually get going. Forget to scale, like what's going on here? Can we get a little bit better team? No? Okay. You know, but what is the actual meta? Why do I forgive a fuck what the meta is? I have no desire to just take the strongest class, stack the strongest items on it, or the strongest single build with the strongest single meta progression cards and then go play forward. Like that doesn't do anything for me. It's not fun at all. For me. All right, we should be getting some worm value here in a moment, although we're gonna get screwed by this one. Don't have a level two weapons. It's gonna take forever to kill anything. Okay. Now we have to figure out what we're doing with this last thicket. Could just play it. I suppose I ought to for here. So we've got this one taken care of and this one taken care of. I'm probably gonna want more over here eventually. So it'll be there and there, which are already taken. Then it's there and there. So I think it there is reasonable. Okay. Spider cocoon. I think I can play one more spider cocoon and not regret it yet. Probably there. Do I need to do this? I probably need to do the level 2 weapon. Pay me, worms. Pay me. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Do 
Alright, nice set of upgrades. We need our shield upgrade. What are the roadside thickets doing? They're preemptively placed for um, blood groves later. Alright, level up here. Has to be article. Dude, I don't want all these are like two of these three I want. I can't do it now, too. So we're giving up. I guess we take article protection here. Our max HP is never gonna be huge, but it's just free HP per round, but not that much. Do we take resurrection? Because we're gonna need it sooner or later. I mean a level one strong aftertaste is okay too, except that we don't have any. We're already three of five, three of six here. Trades get reoffered. Are we sure of that? Really? Trades are reoffered. Okay. Well, we gotta fight the boss soon, though. We're like, we're already on loop three. These are all rough, man. Like raw damage scaling is actually useful, not for boss. Two, but for boss one and three, it's quite useful. Especially if we're using vampirism, the greatest of the, the isms. I don't know. I feel like if I'm gonna redraw these, we're gonna redraw them. Shield is more value. Shield is something. We're not gonna get huge amounts of max HP just off uh, the chest item, right? So. All right, one more spider. So that's those two tiles, that's these two tiles, that's those three tiles. We get spider there if we want a really dense spider pack. I feel like we need to get stronger, so maybe. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, I didn't realize Outpost played like this. So how does it work? Spawn on adjacent tiles, okay. Yeah, shields, I mean, shields a good one for sure. It's just a matter of which is the best of them. It's not clear that it was shield. Might be shield, it might not have been. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was midline, so there's a little bit more value to having more than them, I guess. I thought it was in line rather. That's why I didn't understand how I was ever gonna get four to help me, but it makes sense now why it's four max. We're definitely going, are we definitely going for one more loop? We're presumably going for one more loop. I gotta get a blood grove over here. It's there, I guess. Didn't want that camp particularly, but hello. It's a bad tile for it too. Yeah. Do need to block glitch tiles, good call. Wait, 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 wait. Adjacent tiles? Is it also friendly tiles? Like if I put it here, does it also cover the camp or no? Because presumably it just spawns on the camp there and it doesn't help at all. Yes? Okay. All right, we're gonna fight Lich this round. Dude, is it gonna help on this one though? Fuck, I might've screwed it up. Because if it helps on this one, I'm gonna get the problem of, it's gonna eat my, it's gonna summon a dude, it's gonna spawn there, right? It's gonna help me here, and I'm gonna be super pissed on it. 
I don't know. I don't know. It didn't trigger here. Does this one not work at all then? Like, I don't get it. Shouldn't it have either... Is it going to spawn something? It's just a one tile. So Arsenal blocked our other outpost then. So this outpost does nothing. I see. Okay. First time using that. Not super intuitive for me. Okay. What are we running? Evasion. It's probably better. Two level fives. We got a 10% vampirism with half regen or a... 7% vampirism, but it's much higher damage. Take that. Okay. Let's just spawn this boss here. Need enough spiders to draw enough cards that I want to play to do that though. Bookery ever? Oblivion? Neither? And I love that the bandit camp has spawned on the fucking chrono crystals for increased spawning. It's really annoying. Stop drawing these at some point. Shit, I gotta block this up. Fuck, I keep forgetting. Oh no. No, chat, I forgot all about it. I didn't place the chronos over there. Fuck! Alright, we're gonna have like a level 1000 lich spawn. Then it's gonna like delete us in about one second. On plus stone, I seem to have a fair number of meadows in my hand. What even am I going to add? I can add a storm temple. He yeah, doesn't put block there. Okay. Finally, a bookery. It's super late, and it's in the wrong spot. Loop four to get a bookery. Give me a break, game. Do I avoid the spawn one more round? Seems bold. The arsenal's in a bad spot, too. It was probably taken out the first time. What about the other three times? Was it taken out then as well? All right, we'll spawn it afterwards, I guess. <laughs> huh. All right. That would get us through the lich. The lich. really good draws here. So I think we just play basically our entire hand, right? Ah, oh, it's going to spawn though in between. We still delete all of them. It's a little bit of a waste, but it's still good.
So it's gonna spawn here, here, and there, right? want to play Meadows. Maybe spread the healing out a little bit more. Okay. So what does that leave? How many bonus buildings? Just one right now. Does anything spawn in the Lich's Palace chat? I'm gonna eat two of my Oblivions off this. That kind of sucks. Three of them actually. Six hat. Level six weapon, no vampirism on it. I don't want to give up uh, first vampirism. Okay. So we're definitely fighting the Lich when we come back. We've got forests. I want to spawn these camps so I can delete them without losing my cards. So where am I building my, my patch of uh, thickets here? Get rid of that. All right, what else can we spawn? It's like the only problem, right, is thickets. So we just want to spam the shit out of those. Okay. <laughs> Not a good fight, okay. Dude, will you kill it? Holy crap. Wow. So what was that? That was just one golem with 45 worms because we don't have it village blocked. If we had had it village blocked, could the golem have spawned on it or no? If we had the same setup, but that location had a village. No. So we can't, we can't take it out. The same problem, right? Can't take out village. So our options are run ruins, which are sweet, sweet worms. But the problem is I don't have enough removal to deal with that. Enough oblivions. Or we could drop ruins, run cemeteries. Don't care about villages then, although we could run village. And if we drop ruins, we can drop blood grove, although blood grove is useful on the boss. Deck's too thick right now. I mean, if cemetery and ruins are same value, Chrono Crystal can just cheat cheat cemetery into being more useful. We could also run battlefield if we wanted. Although I hear uh, we can just randomly lose to battlefield at this on this level. Have to have a second one of these. Could run Grove instead of spiders. I mean, that keeps the deck small, presumably. I haven't tried Grove at this level instead of Spiders. It feels like it's gonna be worse. But maybe. Okay, what's the time? Time is really time to be done. This seems like the deck I wanna start with. 
try that. Grove works better with Battlefield. That's true. But I haven't really tried the Battlefield here. And Battlefield runs the same problem as um, Blood Grove when I'm not running Village, right? Which is it spawns chests, then I get supporting fire. Although the supporting fire from the skeleton is a lot less scary from the supporting fire from the worms. Guy messages me, at Filthy Robot, play Swamp and Wheatfield. At CGI Lantern, play your own game. I'll play my game. So picking village after all. I don't, I don't want to play village. The problem with village is I don't have enough oblivions to reliably remove the forest card, which I'm spamming nonstop, and kill the villages as they pop up. Like combined, I just can't, I can't deal with both of them, right? Oblivion is rare enough, even with bookery, that we don't draw it enough. And it's, it's not even that the bandit fight is super nasty, which it probably is. The problem is the bandits spawn in between. I'm, I'm placing villages in between ruins. And the, bandits, the bandit camp spawns on the village, which means it creates a melee unit in between my worms, which is not where we want to be. Drop Storm Temple and spam thickets so you don't get many bandits. Um, I want the damage scaling off Storm Temple. It's what we're running with the fucking deck. Use chrono crystals and blood groves to prevent bandit spawns. That's maybe possible. I haven't really, I haven't played a lot of blocking bandit spawns by spamming their locations. That might be doable. That might be what needs to be done. I need to place my villages in a better location. Let's try grove and see how toxic the dogs are. Yeah. Swamps make you walk slower. That's interesting. Please show my supplies. Uh, I don't think so. We're pretty medium, pretty mediocre supplies. All right, let's try this again. This will be our last attempt today, and then we'll see about tomorrow. Okay. All right. We have just some really shitty supplies. We're trying to do this in minimum numbers. All right, so Arsenal was not correct last time. The location it needs to be is basically here or here, right? So towers will be there and there. That location could use it, but it won't play on that location. What can go there? Like nothing? I guess a meadow can go there. Drew a grove. Grove is inline spawning, so we actually want to stay away from these, unless we're going to also try to blood. Are we going to try to golem groves? Maybe. Okay. Alright, where do I want this arsenal? So two, two, two. Could do it there as a blocking card. I don't know what I'm going to be placing over here otherwise. It's probably fine. Yeah. All right, meadows. I don't want to attack speed the first first one. I really think the lightning is probably favorable, right? We should probably play that if we can. Another grove, missed that. Oblivion, nice. Oops, welcome back. All right, so we want to thicket for 
Get one in there, right? So if I place it there, the Blood Grove eats the tile the Lich spawns on, applies to the boss, seems powerful. I don't want a meadow there to block that spawn. I could just stick it there. Or stick it there. beating us back into okay another grove is nice how spread out do I want these I don't know how hard they're gonna get honestly is great, although I gotta, gotta utilize my first Oblivion before I can take advantage of the Bookery. Another Bookery. Wow. Okay. Let's hurry up and get that first spawn. Okay. Oh, I don't have Blood Grubs anymore. I took them out. Shit, did I add anything? I forgot I took Blood Grubs out. Did I add uh, the chest? I don't think I did, right? So I've just placed a bunch of things that... No, I, I, did I leave Blood Grove in? Fuck, I don't remember. I have no idea if I left it in or not. Shit. <laughs> Guess we're gonna see. Blood Grove helps a lot. Oh, yeah? I can't remember if we played it or not in the end. I've set up like we did. If we didn't, I'm gonna be frustrated. I think we talked about removing it to reduce the total number of cards, but then I forgot that I wanted it for bosses. Shit. Does anyone remember for real? Because I'll restart if we don't have it. Or I might just call it for the day. We don't have it? Uh oh. I want it for the bosses. 15% boss HP seems really solid. Didn't, didn't mean to trigger that twice. All right, I'm gonna call that out. All right, that's a, that's a retreat, brother. All right, we need that. Too bad I like that start. Okay. I should probably be done today. Actually, this is a this is a dumb for the day. All right, chat. I think we are gonna be back with this on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday it is. Start was pretty good, so. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it without scaling more, but I'm trying to attempt it. And if we do, if we do find we have to do it with more scaling, maybe we go back to uh, another one. We'll see. I'm enjoying the progression of it without the meta progression of it. As I figure things out, I like that our builds are getting tighter, but I think this is it for me today. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know his friend on the way out and uh, I'll see you guys Wednesday. If you got yelled at today, I'm sorry it came to that, but uh, please, please refrain from backstating the living bejesus out of me. I know it's a game that everyone knows how to play, and everyone thinks they have opinions on it, and that's fine, but I still would like to discover that mostly for myself. If, uh, if I'm asking questions, feel free to answer them, but if uh, you're just wanting to, tell, wanting to tell me what you do, I don't really care. Uh, all right, so that's me out of here for today. You know what, I'm gonna raid my buddy Joe. 
an MTGA player. Meanwhile, have a good night, guys. I'll see you on Wednesday. Say hi to uh, to Joe for us.